all chemicals provided by chemicals.com, Hobby Chemicals Australia. A straw pot is a pyrotechnic composition which is made up of two types of compositions. One which smolders and the other produces the flash. There are many variations of straw pots to make but I found this to be the easiest with the stock I had on hand. You will need 51% barium nitrate, 7% potassium nitrate, 19% sulfur, 18% magnesium and 5% diction all by weight. I scaled mine down just a bit to match the amount of magnesium I had. Start off by combining barium nitrate, potassium nitrate and diction together. I'm adding the diction now so it will be all mixed in before the water is added later. You can grind these three in a coffee grinder but no worries. Grind the sulfur separately and the magnesium separate also. The finer the chemicals, the better it will work. Once so everything has been grinded, combine it all together. The reason why we do it separately is when a metal powder is added, most of the time the chemical composition turns very sensitive, especially when sulfur is present. You do not want to be grinding it in a coffee grinder when it's mixed and it all goes off at once. If the composition a good mix, make sure you break up any clumps. Adding it to a Ziploc bag and giving it a good shake helps. Just be cautious of any static charge that might build up. Now add the water drop-wise by a couple of mils each time. The consistency we are trying to achieve is a dough-like substance that sticks to itself and not to everything around it. You don't want to just pour the water in at once and hope for the best. If you go too far, you'll have to let it dry. Continue to mix and add more water until you think it is done. I added a total of 7 mils of water before it was at right consistency. If it gets too hard to mix it in the cup, it is easier to knead it onto a workbench and using your hands to mix it. Remember to wear gloves as barium salts are toxic. In this part you can use your imagination and mould it to what you want. I found using a 5 gram measuring spoon made an ideal size strobe. Printing it out was the hard part. I decided to make some cut stars for a future video that would have been handy. To do this just flatten out a bit onto a table and cut it into a checker pattern and let it dry. For the remainder lot I used one of these cardboard tubes and made a small bentonite plug at one end. Then I used the first up of my composition and let it dry. I ended up with three different types of moulds. They can be lit when wet or you can wait until they dry and they'll be much easier to light. I said earlier a strobe pot is a composition of two different reactions taking place, one smouldering and the other one doing the flashing. When the heat rises high enough, the flash composition ignites and emits a flash of light and heat. And the mass returns to the smoldering state until the heat rises high enough to repeat the flash. They are also known as twinklers as when they are launched into the sky, they resemble stars twinkling. It took a bit for my to get going. This is from it not being left to dry all the way through, but as you can see, it's never completely stopped. It was left smoldering the whole entire time until it built up. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to see more upcoming videos like this. If you haven't already, please check out my Patreon and consider donating towards my channel. A little can go a long way. See you in the next video.